what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel we are going to be doing the full stage one cob kit as you guys can see from the title of the video and it comes with everything that is right there that is going to be the full cold air intake and then off to the very left we do have the cob access port and uh i don't really know how long this is going to take me this is the first time doing this um type of thing by myself so uh, I'm going to be learning and watching some videos as well while I do this. Um, but if you guys are watching the channel, I definitely want to give a review and uh, a little bit of an install video for you guys. So uh, stay tuned, give it a like and a thumbs up, and please comment and subscribe. And uh, let's get right on with the video. All right, so for the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to be removing this cover right here, which is only secured by these two clips. So fairly easy, just grab yourself a flathead screwdriver and we can just pop these out. So the next thing that we're going to be taking off is the MAF sensor right here. It's held on by two um, Phillips head screws and make sure not to, to drop these screws anywhere. And the second one's kind of pushed off to the left. All right, and then with those two removed, we're going to take out the whole MAF sensor. And then we are going to disconnect it as well. All right, and then this is what it looks like. And then let's go switch over to the actual intake piping, and we're gonna plug this right in and use the, uh, the new cords that come with it. All right, so with the MAF sensor disconnected, we are going to plug it in right in to the actual intake piping, and we're gonna do it right side up. So if you see any numbers on it, you're going to read correctly, and it's gonna be pointing down. And then all you have to do is just line up these two holes. And with these two bolts that are um, in the little baggie of hardware, we're just going to get an Allen key and we're going to uh, put them right into the little uh, screw holes. And then with these stock, um, with like the OEM screws, just make sure to keep those just in case you ever have to uh, put your car back to stock. That way you can put it back onto uh, the stock uh, air box. All right, so with the uh, MAP sensor already into the intake, the next thing that we are going to do is with a 10 millimeter um, socket and ratchet wrench, we are going to take out this bolt, which connects to the actual air box, along with the bolt that's right in there. That way we can actually unclip this and remove the whole entire uh, air box system. All right, and then once it is loose enough, kind of just get it out with your hand because you really don't want anything falling into the bottom tray of the car. All right, and then with both unattached, you can go ahead and remove the whole entire air box. Alright, so this part of the airbox, which is still attached, is attached right down here with a hose clamp. Um, it is going to use an 8mm socket, so just loosen it up and we'll be able to pull this out. Alright, finally free. My goodness, that took a little bit longer than expected. But we finally have the whole entire airbox off, and what is left is just the actual intake piping, which we're gonna to need to take off in just a little bit. 
All right, so skipping to the next part, a few minutes later, we do have to take off the, uh, the skid plate. That was a pain in itself. If you have this tool, it makes things a little bit easier, but still, everything is still very tight in there, and most likely you're gonna to have to buy new clips. These are pretty much the ones that I was able to save. Uh, most of them snap off because of how brittle they are already. Um, but with the skid plate already down, we're gonna be able to see the turbo. And then that is the rest of the intake piping that we are going to be taking off. Uh, so we're gonna go get in there and take off that hose clamp and take off the rest of the piping. And another thing with uh, the clips down here, there are actually two uh, bolts holding it in place as well, which are going to be uh, two 12 millimeter bolts. All right, and first things first, before we go any further with the intake side, we are going to uh, secure um, the given piece right here. And then we're gonna label it right over top of this. Um, but we do have to take off these bolts real quick and they are a 10 mil. So we're just gonna take them off, put this right back over and then secure it down again. So apparently if you tighten it down too much, the whole entire, uh, whole entire screw gets uh, completely broken off. That's great. Well, I don't think it should be an issue. This thing is super secure anyway. Uh, wow, I was not expecting that. All right, so that is secure and it is like, it's not going anywhere, even with one bolt, unfortunately. But well, the next thing that we're going to do is remove um, that right there, that bolt, which is going to be the second to last to remove the, the, the stock intake piping. And then if we go down here and go to that hose clamp, that is going to be the last of what we need to remove. And then the whole entire intake piping is going to be out. Um, so let's start with the one up top first. So what I've noticed about this whole entire process is that kind of breaking all the nuts loose first and then going by hand seems to be the easiest way because it doesn't really seem like tools really like to be in here. So with that 10 millimeter socket, I am taking off the first bolt now. And I broke it loose and now I'm just hand loosening the rest of the way. And also that way we can uh, secure it. That way it's not falling in anywhere. All right, so second to last removed right there. And put all the all this OEM stuff back into its place. And then we're gonna change out this 10 mil and go with that eight mil to get down that hose clamp down at the very bottom. All right, that is all the intake piping. And look at that turbski, man. Look, if we can see in there, whoa, look at the turbine, whoa. <laughs> all right, all of that's done. Let's go back up top and pull everything out. All right, with everything loose and, and ready to go, this is where the fun comes in. All right, so the next part is going to be getting the coupler and getting the two hose clamps and fitting it onto this. All 
All right, so now that we have everything on, we're gonna face it down and we're gonna kind of work it exactly like how the other one was. Um, and then kind of work it down in there. So I tried putting it in first, um, but I've noticed that taking down the passenger side little uh, skid plate thingy held on by two, two of those pop tabs and then a one 10 millimeter bolt and then you can kind of bring that down a little bit and it's going to make it a little bit easier um, to pull in that intake piping first. All right, after a little bit of maneuvering and a little bit of help, we finally have it on. Um, so the, I guess like the second to last thing that uh, you need to know is that, let's point this up just a little bit. So the, the stopper that comes on this, you're going to need to get the smallest uh, rubber piece that comes with it and uh, you're going to need to trim it to uh, to fit in here because they, they give you a little bit of play. And then once you have this finally in position, then put this on because uh, it's not going to want to go in when it's you know already on. So uh, take this piece off, get the actual intake piping working, um, and then fit this in. And I mean, this thing is secure. Um, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, and before we put the actual intake on, I'm gonna do that part very last just because I don't want anything falling on the actual intake itself. Uh, the thinnest one is going to go all around here. And then these two thick ones are going to go around uh, the bottom of this. And this is just going to reduce any, any rattling and it's gonna make it even more secure. Um, so let's start with this one. And they definitely give you enough. Um, so don't go cutting right away, make sure to measure it at least twice and then you know go with it and make sure it's absolutely correct before you just start cutting away all right so we have all the rubber pieces on the air box and now i'm going to put on the actual air filter itself and with the camera almost being dead i am just going to finish the whole entire process there's really not that much left to it it's just putting on the actual air filter itself and then tightening everything down and then putting the cover back on um, but i'll take some pictures throughout with my phone and kind of place them in as placeholders instead of video all right so i have a little bit more battery left but everything is down and secure and is tightened um, you are going to want to use the uh, the uh, the back nut for that one and tighten it all down but everything is good go ahead and tighten everything back up on this I am going to need to go to AutoZone or somewhere and buy some more clips but bolt everything down for the meantime uh, with those two I was saying Go ahead and tighten it down with the 12 millimeter bolts just in case if you do need to drive the car just to uh, see how it feels without those bolts being in. It shouldn't be a problem for just the meantime. Um, but everything is in. Now it's time to go ahead and put on the top shield and then uh, fasten that back down and then you should be good to go. And then um, what you're gonna need to do is just get the access port and uh, tune it to that stage one. That way it doesn't run rich at all um, with that new intake in it. Um, but I'll fast forward to when everything is done with that. All right, so fast forward a couple days. I have been driving the car a lot and the intake is absolutely wonderful. This is what the finished product looks like. It's just held on by a little bit more um, Allen bolts as well. And that shield is absolutely amazing with that Cobb um, intake system badge on it. And it is, like I said, just an absolutely wonderful intake. Makes the car sound really cool. Um, so I'll post this up in the car and uh, let's take this for a little bit of a drive. All right, so I'm gonna get some sound clips for you guys. This thing, it really does sound absolutely amazing.
gets old. It never gets old, seriously. obviously still learning um, but really I hope you guys enjoyed the video I really enjoyed it um, it was a first for me doing an install like this by myself so I definitely learned a lot um, but please like comment and subscribe and definitely there will be more videos in the future for you guys so stay tuned uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one peace